In this video, I will be talking about scripts and environment variables, specifically writing scripts and setting environment variables. Uh, scripts are more important, and they're kind of a prerequisite for understanding uh, what e exporting an environment variable means, so I will start with scripts. Scripts are lists of commands that you can run all at once. So let's say that we wanted to run all of those commands at once. We would write a script. It is convention to end it with .sh, but you don't need to. SH stands for shell script because uh, shell is the thing that I was using to type commands into. It's another word for your terminal. So there we have our script. It has that contents. Nothing happens when I try to execute it. That command gives me permissions to execute it. I know it's a bit strange, but uh, it follows that Unix philosophy on don't give the, anyone the ability to do something unless they really need to. So you gotta set, uh, uh, to set yourself permissions so that you can execute something. Uh, every, for every single file that you might want to execute. It's a safety measure. And there you are. It runs all the commands all at once. So that that's pretty much just what a script is. Yeah. You can use it for any command, doing whatever you want. It runs usually as the user that run, ran the script. You can see there that dollar sign high is different than high. Uh, after I set high equals hello, the value in high becomes hello, which does not mean that if I did echo high, it would print out hello, but if I did dollar sign high, it would print out hello. If you do a uh, dollar sign before it, it will take it as a variable rather than just as regular old text. If you've programmed before, it's the same thing as a variable in programming. <coughs> you can do this with other things too. Like let's for say, uh, for example, we want to know what day it is. So just for right now, I'll uh, pretend it's Wednesday. I don't. I don't ever know what time it really is. As you can see, before I tried accessing day, it didn't do anything. All environment variables are by default blank. And then I set day to be Wednesday, and then I got the value of Wednesday. If you don't know, echo is just a program that repeats the things that you ran it with. The things that you run a program with are called uh, parameters. If they're required, they're called arguments. If they're optional, 
they're called options. <coughs> if they start with a little dash, they're called flags. They're just the words are. And you can have something be an argument and a flag or an argument and an option. There's another thing you'll see with environment variables, which is that you can also export them. <coughs> this is to remind me that turtles are pretty much the same thing as tortoises. It do, it do, it's uh, the left one is the right one, not the right one is the left one. Uh, it it's not symmetrical. But that export it means something uh, very important. So we didn't export day, but we did export turtle. So if we go back into our script. it will only recognize day i mean only recognize turtle because turtle is the only one that we exported day we did not so it showed up blank because it was not yet declared and you can declare environment variables in scripts How about that? So that's pretty much just all that. Oh wait, no, no. There's there's uh, two environment variables that are pretty special. So let's say I run scripts with in uh, with a parameter. Won't do anything because we didn't specify it to do anything. So we uh, made it print out something that is dollar sign one. Dollar sign one is a special environment variable that prints out the first parameter. They're separated by spaces, so it won't do anything that's after the space. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe or whatever.